All right, let's see if August is where he is. All right, we do still need to kill August. We need to kill August, yeah. August okay, and Pav. So there's a couple people. I, I think those are the only just two. in time to miss the like to miss half of the duration of the X's screen. I'm like, oh fuck, no, that's a lot of information I need to take in. <laughs> Man, I'm feeling so positive about our run. I feel really happy about my progress. I feel like I understand this game on a semi deep level. I I just am feeling good. I'm in the zone. But can you see what kids like about the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? This is my contribution to the stream. This is, this is why they pay me the big bucks. Crunch and ties me, I mean, Captain. By big bucks, I mean on average one dollar per video. Ah! Don't do don't do YouTube, kids. Chop his arms off immediately, or he summons a stand. You are correct. Sorry, my brain wasn't working. I was thinking about literally while I was just like fiddling through the menu. I was like, should I take this opportunity to shill my Patreon and my Twitch and my YouTube and all twenty-seven <laughs> different ways you can watch this stream as it's going live? <sighs> I like the part where I make a link tree that features all of my links in a nice, convenient, packed together location, and then people constantly ask how to find me on different places. I'm like. Ugh. <laughs> you, you you click the only link. I gave you one link that has all of the places. Find me on Retro Spring at, and then that's where the we... number of people that tell me they can't find me on Blue Sky because I finally gave it a sensical tag instead of using the same increasingly confusing Sebastian SB tag that I've used everywhere else. And it's like that's why. It's just a reminder of why I use the same annoying tag that I have to explain every time people wonder what, what the meaning behind it because it's just consistent and people always it's so if it's the same place everywhere then people can stop asking you what your tag is everywhere else. You could change a lot of them now if you wanted to. Ow. And that's a whole project and then you have a weird series of outdated links across thousands of videos. That's fine. You'll be fine. That are that already happens all the time to Discord because they'll like retire a Discord link and now, and now thousands of videos link to it the wrong uh, the wrong Discord link. What? How the fuck? Oh no, that's bad. You can be instant killed. But you did just save. You're so moisturized oh. right now. The stand comes back. Yeah, it just stays. It's already out. The stand has a refractory period. Alright, oh. well... <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. The problem is that we don't know where August is. Yeah, we need to figure out where he was parkouring to! Where was he parkouring to? I thought he was just like right here on this day. I thought it was the the afternoon of day two. He just hung out over here. I think it might have been later. I think I saw him killing a baby here. Yeah. The weird turd dinosaurs. Ah, I oh, forgot about this. He did it. That's fine. There he is. Okay, so he's here on this day. That's good to know. The question is, is he holed up here or around here at all on the previous days? Or what? Or do you just need to come back and check later? Yeah, that's that's the que that concern I have is like, at what point does he show up here, and is it related to anything meaningful, or what? Yeah, no, he was parkouring around earlier, and I just wonder if there was a specific like story beat he does then. Yeah, well, that's my that's my question is like, yeah, but that I just don't gives know. you the vague hook of. Running around somewhere to the left of the Y branch and sit in the city because that's where we last saw him going in a direction. Yeah, exactly. This is so much work, Keith. <laughs> it's so exhausting. It's so much work. Figure out where the heck Let's to go try at to any remember. point in time. I, I think it. I also. 
Oh, there was that one weird time where I was in a back alley and I got attacked by a cocoon man. And then he just killed him. Oh, yeah, he did show up there, didn't he? Yeah, he just like shows up in weird places. Hmm. I don't remember why exactly I'm I'm searching. Oh, yeah, there's this area, too, isn't there? Ooh, a blue herb. Love that. Hey, there were the evil horses. Oh, that's there's a few herbs waiting around here. Here comes the horse. Yep. <laughs> it's so startling. <laughs> it's like a goddamn Lisa encounter. Brad gets hit by a truck. Well, oh, I'll try spinning. That's a cool trick. <laughs> oh my god. Well, S seems like it was a good call never to fight him. Hmm. He just fucking nays with reverb and everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely want to go grab the blue herb and the two red herbs out there. So that's worth going to just to grab for for. Uh, our own yeah, safety. You made a pretty, you made a pretty big spike in progress in killing as many contestants as possible. Yeah, I'm not that worried about our time, our timing. Uh, it would be cool to get wiped. it done before <laughs> the third day, just to be like, ha ha, I'm good at this game. But like, I don't know. Yeah, but also kind of pointless. Yeah, very pointless. Like, sure, you probably can beat this game on the first day. I'm sure people like speedrunners and stuff have killed it on day one. It's mostly just your patience of being able to do as much as possible in one day without... Yep. And just accepting starting over every time you fuck up. But also, you have to know where a lot of people are at very specific times. And August is currently somewhere... Although, given that he was in... I wonder if he might just be elsewhere in, in the forest. Hmm... I don't know. I'm just thinking well, of, that's like, that's the, what uh, I'm wondering is like, is he in one of the telelectroscope areas or something? But I don't know. Because we just we saw him parkouring across town, and somewhere around there's also where he saved me that one time. But he's going he was going west, so I wonder if he just shows up in the forest. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's kind of my question. Is like, how exactly? How correlated is it with, you know, wherever he is? Yeah, the, the question to some extent is whether or not people even are always somewhere. Yeah, I guess that is true. That is the other the other question here. Characters run could might be dead always because... be on the map or they could literally not. They could literally just be gone for days at a time, which I'm convinced that some characters are just not around at certain times because yeah. we never found. Uh, what's her name? Abella at all. Yeah. Let's go, Abella. Let's go, Levi. Two crits. Well. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? So stupid. I can't believe how strong he is. I just wish. I wish I. Uh, I want to do this, but I don't want to do it on. I don't. I just don't want to waste that much time. It feels so inefficient to not find where he is on this day that we have access to. You know what I mean? Because it's like we've made it this far in the game. We've done such a good job, and now it's like, after, well, I guess we're just gonna yeah. sleep through three days. It's like, god damn it! <laughs> after being efficient, you don't want to just like skip an entire time period to get to it, get to where he is. Exactly. I need to know where he is on on day two afternoon or whatever. I'm sure. gonna keep searching around here because he's here day three, so maybe he's in one of the telelectroscope areas. I also, again, I want those herbs really bad. All right, there's stuff down there. I want to get down there. How do I get down there? <laughs> rub your face on every single wall. Yeah, rub rub against the walls. 
I love video like games. you're a dog wiping your butt on the carpet and just find I like the part where you struggle here. to find an entrance in a place where your character would be able to see that with his eyes. So he would just be right in front of him. Like, very obvious. And you're like, why can't I see what he can see? There's a chest down there, so I think I do want to try to find my way down there. Almost the walked into whether that it's on, it, Whether you access it from this screen or a different screen. Yeah. Maybe it's just down here again? Nope. Doesn't look like I can get there. Let's try. Oop, there's stuff though. <laughs> there's just so much looming in this zone. Maybe it's where August is. Maybe that's where August is. That's the question, right? This secret chunk of map. I remember getting go past this, this ridge on the left, I think, too. I got around it somehow. Over there? Yeah. No, I think that I think there was an opening back Ooh. there. Oh hey. Wooden branches are all burnt. Only charcoal remains. Looks like someone has kept a camp here recently. Uh, okay. That's helpful. Data. Data. Data for my brain. Okay, we're getting in. Oh. This fucked up forest. Oh. The fact that exploring also causes you to starve to death. Yeah, it's a bummer. <clears throat> All right, well, there's nothing there. Uh, I'm depressed. I wish I wish I knew where August was without needing to sleep through multiple days, but worst case scenario, we just sleep until tomorrow, kill him, and then... You could always just do everything else. There's nothing else to do, really. You can defeat the circle. I guess we killed the Sergal, yeah, but then we just, what, come back, sleep? I guess killing the Sergal is like a big enough thing that we would want to save. Yeah, right? you can kill the Sergal and explore the next area and then save. And then that's stuff you don't have to do in the next save. Yeah, you're right. There's, there's still plenty to do. You just, you just Even if you can't find August specifically, he could just be yeah. the last thing you do before the ending. You're right, you're right. That's the way we especially, should be tackling this. Especially since he's just a dude, so you'll just swoop over, kill him, then do the ending. <laughs> and if there's struggles with the ending, you don't even really need I guess really we get a save. teleporter right after the circle too, don't we? Or is it right before yeah. it? You yeah. kill the circle, and then you enter the final zone, which is where that masquerade ball is happening. It's where the death door is that turns your 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 friends into monsters, and it's where the last body should be. Like, it's all yep. over there. Okay. And there's just like a random building that has that basement with like a ritual circle and a and a save Ooh. point. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Friend? You didn't see Are me. friends? Oh, I think I'm it was very right here. sneaky. I think it was on the right. What was on the right? I think I think you're near where I saw August that one time. Where like he just fights a monster. No. Watch out for the penis man and his penis penis and his other penis and his penis arm and his soon-to-be penis head, but not the other one. Ouch. Not the mallet that hangs loose. Let's do this. All right. <sighs> nope. Wrong. Wrong. My bad. Those four hours of sleep are catching up with you. A little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> the end is right. nigh. I wish kicking something that was dead, I wish that the fact that it said it gives you satisfaction, I wish it gave you like two mind. And that'd be great. <laughs> Just refills your sanity. Yeah. It's like, this is good for you.
<coughs> ah, I guess it's... Ah. I guess it's technically possible that some people could be hiding in the sewers, too. August could be in the sewers. I'm wondering if we fight Moonless, it will trigger him so that we can just kill him then, but that's doing two boss fights in a row. Yeah, it's two boss fights in a row. I also don't know if he does... I don't remember if you can attack him then. I think he I might like have just stand, stood there afterward. I feel like he parkoured onto the screen, gave us loot, and then parkoured away. <laughs> He's just such a swift, mysterious man. <laughs> So it might be worth it to try and fight Moonless just to give it a try. And worst case scenario, we just make it to the Sergal? I don't know. There we go. Saw off his head. <laughs> oh no! That's fine. Same place, I think, too. Yeah. We've encountered this. Ah, no! That transition throws you. What the fuck? Ugh, it's the same trap again. Yay! All right, Nobody we're in the died. Sewer. No one died. Well, I guess we're going the sewer route. <laughs> <laughs> You want to guide me to Moonless? Via the sewers? Uh, Isn't that where you go? Technically, but the sewers are the whole map. Uh, like there's a network of sewers that I think is pretty much as big as the entire city, like one to one. Yeah. And like the you're in like the bottom left, and I think Moonless is in like the top right. No way. To the point, yeah, to the point where, no, like, after you defeat Moonless... That's not what I'm commenting on. Is this a dead end? I think I'm in a dead end. Can you walk over this garbage? Wait, I'm, this manhole doesn't attach to anything? That's not... Well... <laughs> AI, okay. Yeah, oh, but they disappear when we do this, don't they? Ooh, go up that alleyway. No, he doesn't. No, the, the ambush very much sticks around. Go up that alleyway. Oh, wait, they can't. Wait, what? Mean? <laughs> there's, there's garbage right there. Gear the garbage. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can go down here, though, I think. So we're fine. So the, it's to the point where, like, after you defeat Moonless, I think, is when you gain access to the Valley of the Drakes. Yeah. Which is that one ridge that has three different elevators. Evil zombie man. Without a warning, the soldier takes a point blank shot at you. It's one of those guys that feels like he'd be a character, but he's not really. There's just a few dead soldiers, then one live soldier, and none of them are, are the characters in your cast. I'm not gonna cut this guy's head off. Oh, God! <laughs> So many guns around here. It's me, Picasso Face. Remember that bit? From six hours ago? It's very funny, my arms are gone. Levi, buddy. I don't think oh, he's fuck. actually landed an attack today. It's going to make killing him easy. <clears throat> There's something funny about the highlight of 
when you select the legs, it select it shows a silhouette of a leg going all the way up to like his torso. Yep. Even though that's all completely invisible to you. I need to remind you that this leg is like three times as long as as the part you can see. Guess we'll just go back down through the woods. I mean, it was worth it, I guess. We got some items. Oh, pff, this. I it's your this. favorite. This I'm, startles I'm me every see. time. And nervous I need to make sure I don't see. fall into oh. that trap again. I'm a botanist, you see. A botanist, you see. You're going to get darted. I'm not. No one's going to dart me. They call me No Darts Toaster on account of having no darts. Part of a much longer, more more complete name. <laughs> it takes a while to list all the things that I'm not. Mm-hmm. It's like a Chuck Tingle book. <laughs> all right, well, we can't go anywhere there. I want to see I'm... a Chuck Tingle book where the entire contents of the book is the name of another book. Uh, That's his final form. Get on that, buddy. To satisfy me, the customer that's never read one of your books. <laughs> but I have read the titles to dozens of them. Alright, so how do we get to Moonless from the nearest sewer? Do we go to the Old Town sewer? Um... Hmm... Sewers are a struggle. <laughs> okay. That's Thank a bit of a vibe. Help. I don't... It's on... It's your, I, I have just like a vague sense you're going for the top right. Yeah. That's the direction you're trying to push in. Moonless was like the first thing we found in the game. So I am... Yeah, I'm, so it's I'm pretty going, early. Yeah, I'm going to say it must be easily accessible. And the whole reason yeah. why I want well, the, to the do it... The sewers are pretty connected. Yeah. I mean, I know they're pretty connected. It's more it's more like I want to make sure that we can get there without having to deal with too much stuff because by doing that, if I can confirm right away that uh, like maybe August stands there right after the moonless fight, if I can just do yeah. that, then that We're makes it easy to do. We're already on the right side of do. the map, so this is probably a good start. Yeah. This is the this is the zone that I have the most difficulty memorizing overall. Just a bunch of vaguely familiar visuals with no good idea of how they fit together. But when you find the water puzzle, then you're good, because you gotta solve the water puzzle to get to Moonless. There be a poop monster. I don't remember the specifics. You're looping a bit because you're back in the I same am. chamber. Yeah, that's what I'm. Conf I was just confirming. Uh, hmm. We go up here. Is this out? Nope. Because that just leads back to where we were. So we must have to go to left a little bit. There's a poop monster. There is yes, there is. Thankfully, he's in a Resident Evil boss fight room. And then we go over here, maybe? Nope. Can I walk over this? I don't think so. Cannot. Okay. How did all that poop get out of the water? Was there a, a flood? That's okay. This it is, is a good over sign, here. I think. Yeah, it's yeah. over here. And then is it well, just a ton up of through drains. this one? Mmm, mushroom stew in the trash. Our yeah. favorite. Better keep check of which one that was compared to all of the other ones in your inventory. Motherfucker. Want to mix those up. Okay, so this isn't exactly where we wanted to be, but it's close. Uh, did he, how do we get to the did, moonless fight? Did that chamber end? Yeah. This one up north? 
Oh no, no it didn't. This is it. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like, I was like where are you going? Plant. Okay, you're there. I need you to tell me how we do this because I don't remember. Uh, you flip them. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, first like, you have to turn one on, one off on each side. Yeah, because you it only just have like that. Because you can only turn one off on each side at a time, and then you just got to go upstairs and try to open passages. And if it doesn't, if you if you go up there and you can't go anywhere, which looks like this is the case, then you just flip it to the other setting, <clears throat> and see and see where you can go then. I had the sequence memorized a little bit at one point, but it's it's simple enough that you don't really need it memorized. You just go upstairs to see what you can interact with, and then if you can't, you flip them to the <coughs> opposite state. Yeah. Okay. So we can't go. We can't do this one. So yeah, because the do blocks in front it. of this one. Yeah. So you're trying to okay. use the left ladder to unblock the right ladder. Yep. And then at one point you push a thing in front of the water while it's turned off and then turn it on to push it off to try and get the block out of the way. Yep. Unfortunately, this is not a puzzle that you can uh, instantly, you can, that you can skip by knowing the password once you've done it once, like, like the other one. Yeah. Okay, so you can push it. Yeah. And then you'll have to change the setting on, the, so you can take the ladder down now, but you have to change yep. the setting on the right one to turn off the water, then push it in front then of the turn water, it then turn off, it back we put on, the thing then, there, then we turn it back knocked on. in, yeah. and then you just push the next, the other block to the end. Because at first glance, it looks like it's going to be a problem, but you can just push it past the the uh, the door. The second block only exists to block the first block. Uh, you just turned all of them on. How the fuck did I do that? I thought we could. I thought we had to turn them off. Or I thought they there could only be uh, one on at, at the time. Only, only one can be turned it's off like that, at a time, right? All right. Only only one can be off at a time because your goal because. Uh, if you could, if you could turn them all off, you would just win because <laughs> you could just go anywhere. That's true. Okay, you're right. I have so a good the brain. Is okay, that it, my brain is good. One, then only then only that one turns off. Is that what I want, or do I need it one more? Uh, they probably both work. Honestly, you're gonna give this game the benefit of the doubt, Keith. Yeah. All right. Whatever you say. I've never been. I've never been permanently blocked by a puzzle in this game. <clears throat> that has never happened. And it looks like they're both in the range of the thingy. Yep. Okay. And then just flip it, then just flip it back. Because you need to go that way now. And the other way is just like a shortcut, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the left way just goes deeper into the town. But you've already been in the city. Yeah, we don't need that, that's fine. I don't think it's anything like special and unique. It's just a way to get into the town. Cause it's how I originally got in the town. Cause I didn't get the I, I got in the town without opening the gate. All right, we're in the back rooms. Cause I, cause I used the sewers. Oh, the back rooms again. Maybe one day we'll finish that game. <laughs> we met once, then immediately couldn't get the same group of people together again. <laughs> If you've ever seen a multiplayer series mysteriously stop, it's pretty much always because of that. <laughs> All right. The air down here is heavy, moist, and musky. Musky, husky. Musky. That was the foreshadowing. That's the foreshadowing to that's let why, us that's know. That's how you're supposed to know that <laughs> that toothless, that moonless. Toothless is, down here. is here. Wow, toothless my favorite. Here. Remember toothless? Boy, do I! It's one of my earliest sad games memories. Was back in 2011. We were like sitting there making our character in Skyrim. And for some reason, uh, Andrew's just going on an extended rant about how much he hates How to Train Your Dragon. Why? How to Train Your Dragon's so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Andrew. You just get used to him hating everything. 
That's just the, the early days of all of it. <laughs> the first How to Train Your Dragon is like a genuinely good movie. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen any of the others, but that first one, pretty solid. I got very numb to his movie opinions back then, especially because every time he would, every time that he was going to watch a movie in theaters. Is this the way we want to go? He, is it... Yeah, you just keep going south. South? Even though the rats are there? Yeah, he just runs from you. I've never fought one of the rats here. Okay. But no, the uh, back in the day, even if he literally was going to see a movie in theaters that he already has tickets for and is already meeting people for, he would stop and read the entire Wikipedia summary of its plot first. Did Why? you did you grab the bag? I did. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Get uh, it. woo. The game is a wooing. They're giving us so many things because they're like buddies. They're gonna die. That would have been bad if I accidentally clicked that. Uh, whoo, whoo wee. Food. Got some of that food in us. Uh, let's see. I don't remember the order with which we really want to attack things here. I don't need the sword because Mark because he's not going to use it. So I think I don't think Moonless even had body parts. I think Moonless had body parts. They had paws, didn't they? I think you could just attack Moonless, and that's pretty much it. There's just Moonless or swords. <laughs> this is your chance to cast all of your buffs if you have them, because you can't it do is. anything else for the first several turns. If anything, it's nice of Moonless to make it so that all of your characters that ramp up in power over the course of the fight are all stronger but before it starts. Yeah. Moonless is just such a, a cool character, and this level of hype is very cool. This Moonless is, is super cool, yeah. It's very funny that they set, the, set up this insane reveal. The looming eyes. This itself being sort of like a callback to an enemy type. It's both a it's both a character from Fear and Hunger One, and it's a, a callback to an enemy type in Fear and Hunger One, like the the, <coughs> the handful of people that would creep into to the fight over time, which doesn't really happen in this game. Yeah. So you still can't attack. Don't attack until you can see the whites of her swords. Yes, exactly. Okay. Here we go. So I guess the first sword that you get falls off. All right, we can fight her paws, so it might be beneficial huh. to do that so that she doesn't murder us immediately. <laughs> But if I remember correctly, she can bite, which is also pretty scary. I think so. I'm gonna do torso. I remember her being reasonably dangerous, but also not devastating. And ultimately, I just like tried to g grab a sword, then obliterate her as fast as possible, or else. I can't. <laughs> Marco's fucking dance. Uh, goofy ass video game. It's a big damage spike when everybody has ramp three immediately. Good. Oh, that's a lot of focused damage on Karen. That's a lot of focused damage on Karen. Ah. <laughs> ah. God damn, that is some damage. He's fully healed. <laughs> Marco just has full health. Yes. Committed, Fuck yes. committed to the attack. Not even going to heal Karen. Bazoof. Bazoof. 
Hold hops it. In I'll like take Naruto. care of her. I love this is so mysterious. Just such a mysterious encounter. Bye. I wonder what happens if you're playing as August and you come here. I don't know if we can pick August at the start. Yeah, I mean, when they eventually add August, like, what, what's that like? All right, he just what eats his himself. Deal? Well, you got some supplies, but was it worth it? Yeah, it wasn't really worth it. I guess. Oh, no, she lost an arm. She already was. Her arm was already lost. Oh. Well, if you, uh, well, you got a decent amount of supplies, so if you, even if you just leave and then defeat the circle and save, that's a, that's like a decent amount of worthwhile yeah, we stuff. we got two of the best healing items in the game, so, and it kind of pays for itself and just heal each other up like that. Yeah, this wasn't a very costly run. Oh, one more. But in here is a whole zone. I don't remember if it had its own boss. Yeah, I think it did. Walls are closing in on you. Foundations of Decay. Well. I'm trying to remember if I remember another weird blobby monster dude or if it was just Moonless. That that was the boss for this area. I mean, is it worth going down there? Uh, it's just another exit. Because the... Uh, Where does it exit to? I think the back end exits back into the church. The then, Valley of the Drakes area. Yeah, then I guess we'll go through here because it's faster than going back anyway. And it's where I we I just don't remember go. if there was a monster or not, but I feel like it was just moonless. Do we want to climb up you, or climb down? Climb I think up, climbing right? down takes you to the telelectroscope and climbing up takes you to the Valley of the Drakes. I like how we keep calling it the Valley of the Drakes and no one has any fucking clue what we're talking about. They should know. But it's, <laughs> that game is more popular than this one. Oh yeah, here we are. It is definitely the Valley of the Drakes. You are not yeah, wrong. No, it, it's the Valley of the Drakes. Sort of crypt. Wasn't there something? Wasn't it, it in one of these things? One of these was a little worrying. But... Matches? But yeah, I think this is the another floor of the same elevator that, that goes both to the church and to uh i think the second floor is gonna take you to the church of almer oh, oh yeah we're good okay so the first floor is the moon scorch village there's a teleport all right here's the rest of the town all right so that's a shortcut well we made it yeah, the Valley of the Drakes is just one of the worst zones in Dark Souls, but its uh, entire job is just to single-handedly facilitate several of the connections that people jizz themselves over all the time. Yeah. Oh my god, you can go from Firelink to the Valley of Drakes to this really weird random cave that stretches to the Dark Root Garden, a route no one human has ever taken on purpose. That's the route that I did on my first playthrough. <laughs> And it's just uh, it's a, it's a, it's a zone that has no particular identity of itself because its job is just a stretch, just pretty linearly between the zones. It's informative to watch. Oh God, I forgot about this part, <laughs> the, the split passages. It's informative watching. Uh, nope. Illusory Walls's videos about Dark Souls games and the. Uh, the way that they, like, in the prototypes, you can see, like, there's just a bunch of, like, that big, long, diagonal ramps that just connect entire zones yep. to each other in yeah. the weird low-res version of the map that they originally plan out. Because Valley of the Drakes is just a zone that stayed that way. <laughs> it just is those ramps that connect a handful of places. And they're like, uh, uh, we'll put, we'll, re we'll recycle the Painted World Dragon, I guess, and put it here? Okay. It's his own. We did it. <laughs> no! Oh, God. That was a lot of damage for a thing that has no arms. No, it wasn't that thing that was doing it. Marco was mind-controlled. Oh, shit. Yeah. So 
Still got no arms, loser. <laughs> this should kill it, though. It's nice that it has no arms, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that, that zone is 75 doors, one unique ring, and one... one little drake enemy that they spam that it feels like they were otherwise just going to cut from the game. <laughs> the game didn't really find a place for this guy. We'll just... We'll fill this little valley with drakes, called the Valley of Drakes. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 is an unimpeachable genius game, and everything else is worse somehow. <laughs> Can you tell that I love Dark Souls, but hate Dark Souls opinions? <laughs> and have been just flooded with them? Mysteriously, in Dark Souls, you encounter two undead dragon torsos, but tw like 12 undead dragon butts. <laughs> just butts. Why just butts? Did we ever find out whether or not it's intended or a glitch that you can attack the dragon butt in Painted World and it stands up? It's a it's a it's a collision glitch. You move its hit me uh, by by interacting with it. You basically move its collision box so it m gets pushed up the platform, and then you that's how you uh, that's how you skip that. It's, it's completely unintended. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I use that skip every single time I play Painted yeah, you, World, you even though Painted World is absolutely my favorite area in Dark Souls. I think it's the most yeah, well designed. I don't, I don't think anyone's super into that, that last part anyway. Yeah, no one likes it. It's it's very very tiring it's to go just, through. Just a weird little linear thing of en of enemies and gauntlets, a gauntlet of enemies. It's just very funny. Like you fight, you 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 do one of the weaker drag. It's one of the weaker boss fights in the game against the undead dragon. But at least it's in a level that facilitates it, unlike the Valley of Drakes, which is trash. Yeah. Uh, but then you get to the end of the hallway and his butt's just there, and you smack it. And he's like, oh yeah yeah, I'm up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> It's like you woke somebody up. What's less funny is when you go into Lava Land and there's just 50 more dragon butts devoid of context just kind of standing around. You're like, what is what the fuck is this zone? How did this, how did this stay in? I should have been Gooch searching these bleeding. things. I didn't really search the other ones in the church because I was like, oh, they don't drop anything. But I guess they do. And I guess that was silly no. of me. That's fine. I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Pet pills. Hell yeah. I wanted to use some of those. Before the Sergul, you can kerbliterate his limbs off. Yes, that is the goal. The goal is to kerbliterate his limbs. Th those exact words. Yeah, that's what it says in the Primus Strategy Guide. <laughs> Man, some games just genuinely needed a device like that, cause just because even if they weren't like complex games, they were often just so fucking hard that you're just at some point you just needed the solace of like, okay, let me just chill and stare at a, a book about this part of the game for a bit just to feel prepared to even try again. Like, I don't know if you've played Jedi Power Battles, but it's like actually bizarrely punishing. Like, it looks like a dumb hack and slash game that'd be relatively low effort. And then you're just fucking dying. You're like, please. Oh, shit. There's like, a, yeah, there's the bobbies monsters. that fall down. Do we go up? P yes. Okay. Penis monsters. Okay, circle time. <sighs> the disgusting scent of gore. Here it is. Right here. Last second to prepare. Should I use heroin on Levi? Or should I save it for the final fight? For when I need uh, it? What final fight? I mean, I presume there's going to be a final boss fight when we go up the tower. Yeah, but you're going to kill Levi. Yeah, but I might need Levi to be alive right now, like super powerful, so we can kill the circle. 
Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, you're about to fight the circle. You're talking about saving it for later, and I'm saying, like, I don't think there's no Levi to boost later, unless you'd want to use the Heron for yourself later. That's what I mean, using it for myself okay. later, because it, it gives you okay. a huge buff. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was just saying, like, there's no Levi later to, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. boost. Your, your goal is to murder him after this room. Right now, you don't care who in your party dies, except if you want to get their souls. Because uh, any of them dying here is just saving you from taking damage. Alright, furry time. This is the final boss fight as far as your party is concerned. Furries, 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 furries! Why doesn't he have a gigantic donger, but all the other enemies do? You know what? Like, <laughs> missed opportunity. <laughs> exactly. Where's his big sheath? Where are the big sheath hours going? All Circles right. don't have sheaths. They can. How dare? How dare you? As far as you I'm concerned, furry. And it, it would be an they've improvement. Got, they've got those weird pointy dicks. <laughs> oh, like lizard, lizard peen or whatever. Yeah, they've it's, got they've dolphin got weird, penis. They've got weird, yeah, like weird tapered prehensile looking ones, and they just come out of a slit. I forgot to put poison on my fists. That's fine. You. Mata Neko Kone Magnificat. That is my name. I don't understand. I don't understand yeah, I don't, that I'm name. I'm not sure what's going on with this character, but you just gotta cut off one of his arms as fast as possible. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson in circle anatomy. One of my most viewed videos for the last month has been our the short of our us encountering the circle. Oh, okay, let's go get that crit, Abella. It attacked someone. Get that you. crit, Levi. Oh, Even let's Levi's go. Levi's doing things. <gasps> we did it. You bastard. Ugh, you bastard. You don't. I don't deal with the likes of you. The music for this fight is so good, but you'd never hear it because it's over so quick. Yeah. You're not the one I'm after. Who are you? I see, I see. You're one of those idiots. You shouldn't meddle with things you don't understand. Humans truly are the pest of this world. The forces of the moon are whacked up because of you lot. Oh, I forgot he says whacked up. <laughs> no, he's, he's a wild character. <laughs> Oh man, so funny. The parasites leeching on the moon. That's why there's so much random shit happening everywhere. Doppelgangers replacing missing folk, old deities rising up from their graves, space and time tearing up. The forces are desperately trying to fix the balance because of you knuckleheads. He talks like a Sonic character while looking like a Bloodborne character. <laughs> he does. Fine by me. More challengers for me to behead. I don't play more I'm games off. with circles in them. Don't even bother tainting my blade with your foul blood. Bye. Picked up the circle spear from the severed hand of the circle. Nice. It's like a, the final salve the game gives you when it's about to be like, hey, you should kill all your friends. Yeah. I remember we got lost in here because we didn't realize there was a door there for like five minutes and then we figured it out and we were like, It's oh. very hard to see. <laughs> it is very hard to see. Oop, wrong way. This game just doesn't want you to be able to tell what you're looking at sometimes. Yeah. Leather armor, not bad. Is there a reason to go up there? I think there's a soul devourer necklace, maybe, or a beetle stone. Am I insane, or does he... Is the name the game shows him not the name he says he has? It's not the name um, that the that the game displays. So the game displays Rancid the Circle, but he introduces himself as Mata Neko Kone Magnificat. Where did, you, where did we get that name from? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's stinky, the Sergal. <laughs> Finally. So much musk in this episode. I know. So, someone should bottle that launch a site. Sniff snarf aromas. And we got the Bloodborne, Bloodborne Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about like, that. The game's like, were you just thinking about Bloodborne? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Artificial soul. What is that used for? Bear trap. Oh, evil penis. Like Two old light, penises. Light this blue one vials. is evil. Nice. Here's the scary door. 
Is he dead here? Something about the tower in front of you. I don't see yeah. him. I thought he was on the bottom right. I don't see him either. Is he not here yet? Do we need to wait until... Maybe we need to wait until the next day no matter what? I wonder where he is. Like he always shows up on the third day. Yeah. Um, I forgot that the tail end of my group... What the fuck? Yeah, there's just so many people in your way. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Trying to think. we've never we've never met this character. Besides seeing him dead here and him like kind of threatening us as we left the first electroscope. Yeah. Which didn't happen for you. Which did not happen for me, you are correct. But did happen for me. And he Huh. Light blue vial, nice. Can we go over here? Whoa! I can go in this house. Donovan's house. Yeah, oh, this, this is the teleporter! Yeah, this is this this is the teleporter. This is our. This is the we teleporter, and also where we got a book to save, a book of enlightenment. Yeah, what is I think this? That was luck, though. Not even sure what it, you're looking at. It was it was luck, but we did get it, which was great. Yeah, it, it changed the the route of things significantly because I was like, how the fuck am I going to manage this? The I question is, is like a is like a ritual circle or a leveling circle or something on the left up here. There's a temple, a temple, a Almer circle right here. We will do, and we can, we have now, we now have all the teleports. We got all the teleports. Achievement unlocked. Almer, they had another L, because you have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. And then we Yay, have a table. out of save leveling. Finally. It takes so long to find one of these tables. Can I not make any more soul stones? I guess I haven't done stuff. All right, uh, how many do I have? I have don't, a few. You don't have any, I guess you probably don't have any heads to trade. I have four soul stones though, so that's a pretty good oh, amount. Wow. What is slow metabolism? Probably makes me hungry slower. Melee proficiency could be good. Yeah, I, I imagine that makes you does. hungry less. Advanced occultism, warding sigil, red arc, moth swarm. At some point he dies here, which makes me think that an event happens with him here. If you, if you do it, one. if you do end up saving, it might be worthwhile to check the place where he dies at different time intervals going forward and see if he shows up and and dies. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Might even be story. Two. What do I even want to get with these? Greater meditation for sure. That'll give me immediate rev three. Explosives. Or why not? All right. The question is, do I immediately go for that book? No. I don't. Because now we can roll RNG on it every single time I save. Uh, are we cool saving? Are you cool with me saving right here? Uh, I think so, because we're at, we're, we're really there. Like, yeah. <laughs> we have two characters to kill besides our party, right? So we just yeah. need to find those two characters, then go to the bop and kill everyone else. Yep. Yep, it's just those two guys on the right. Nice. There we go. <sighs> So I would, yeah, I would pass time forward, then check the tower again to see if he shows up now. Yeah. So he died at some point. So he might just have a story event there. Yeah. Because specifically, he was not a Silent Hill monster. So I don't think he... My first, because I, I, my first re reflex thought last time was to think that he died approaching the tower, but he wasn't a monster. So I don't think he actually died approaching the tower. I think he just gets killed in front of the tower. Yeah. 
but the question is whether with so many characters gone whether or not we've undone that scene by killing that character or not because we don't know what causes his death Kaiser's rise Kaiser's to power. Rise to Useless. Power. You could have Useless. given me a book of enlightenment, game. You could have done the nice thing to me and given me the good thingy that I wanted, game. How dare you? And I, th and I think the only r real reason to go into the museum -y place is like the fluted armor and which was garbage to, to uh, Pocket Cat's right. vendor is he up again. here yet? Oh, Oop. we're getting a cutscene. The... <gasps> You feel an intense aura emanating from a face spelled emanating wrong from the figure in yellow. You are petrified in fear and awe as this person lays its eyes on you. The presence feels old, almost ancient. You get a feeling that this person is not just a normal human. Uh. <laughs> what is what is Lagarde doing here? Oh, there's Pav. Oh, is he the guy who kills Pav then? Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser. <laughs> Do you even know why this bullet has your name written on it? You're one of my officials. Avil Yudin. You were recruited from Voronia during the First Great War. Hi, Needles. Oh, fuck. Needles is here, too? That must mean I'm responsible for demolishing the village you were born in, and your family and relatives. I sincerely hope this is not an act of vengeance. It would mean you've wasted all your life in spite, waiting for this opportunity. It's not wasted if I get my revenge here. Hell, I'd do this even if it just meant that no one else has to go through the same. And don't even try to give me any of that it's for the greater good bullshit. You're stepping on people without regret, just to pursue your own endeavors. I do not do anything for the greater good. The greater scheme of things is a trap humanity has fallen for too many times. What I've done is a necessary step for mankind. The mankind. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't want that bullshit. Teleports behind you, nothing personal, oh. kid. Oh. So cool. Jeez. And he just fucks off, that's it? That's the whole thing? Bye. The Raven Lieutenant's still alive, just barely. There's a huge cut going from his chest to abdomen. Examine his condition. Isn't... He's bleeding severely from the cut. He probably won't make it if you don't do anything. So you can heal him or kill him. <laughs> you stepped on his neck, he's dead now. You absorb the chaotic soul. He looks dead. Got an army uniform, a Luger pistol, and 10 9mm bullets. We're gonna cut off his head. Well. Alright. Well, we did that. What a brutal ending for that character. <laughs> And then so planning the betrayal of the evil guy this whole time. 